All right, before I do start the stream, I'm going to do some brief audio testing to make sure that my mic is uh, properly set up. Uh, one thing that I noticed uh, just a few seconds ago is that my pan, my knob, my pan knob was uh, off kilter again. So uh, I hope I wasn't in everyone's left ear last stream because you know that that that's cool. <laughs> And uh, I think my audios uh, were twisted in the wrong direction, so uh, I might have, I might be, uh, my audio might be slightly different, uh, maybe louder or more quieter, not entirely sure, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it as consistent as possible. But uh, I te it tends to change on me because I don't know, it just, it just does. Right. Oh. Probably gonna hang out just for a, a, a couple seconds longer to uh, you know let people come in. You know, wait for my notifications to go out, all that jazz. Yeah. Trying to get my chair as comfortable as possible. It's effectively a wooden slab on wheels. I, I ought to get a pro gamer chair. Set like crisscross on it anyway, so that's like. I would at least like it to have some cushion, you know. It is not a very ergonomic thing. Alright, let me check. Okay. Yep, my Discord notification went out. That's fine. Alright. So. Today I'm gonna to be doing some. Excuse me. I'm gonna be doing some more modeling. If you aren't familiar with what I do, <clears throat> yeah. So I. Ooh, excuse me. Swap over here. So I want need want and need to make a low poly frog for our game. And let me load up. Where would it be? Here it is. All right. Go to the object location and we'll just pop it in. There we go. So, our concept artist uh, made this, and I was looking at it like, ah, that looks fun. So, uh, I'm gonna go about doing that now. So, we'll just sort of leave this in the corner somewhere over here while I get working. And uh, we need a I need a character reference size just so we can get an idea how big it'll be when we're done. We can just scale it down. There we go. Okay, so character size is like one that tall, I believe. And about that big. That's I think that's the collider. That's pretty good. And we'll set that, uh, we'll turn it off for now. But this is the main thing I'm interested in. Uh, it's interesting that uh, they paint, they, they tend to paint their stuff in a way that is easy to low poly model. So I'm gonna probably go, try to go through the whole process of uh, modeling it, texturing it, uh, rigging it, and animating it. Hopefully, that, that's the plan. First order of business, this object is uh, mirrorable. Uh, we can turn that off. Wait, no, I didn't need to turn off wireframe. Edge line, that's what I need. I do that and that. We'll add a mirror modifier. Do that. Try and clipping. Good look at that. Also will help uh, to look at some actual frog references. So any kind of other frogs you would like to 
look at or see or use. Stuff like these. <laughs> what the hell is this frog? Is that its side? I think so. I don't think those are its eyes. Fish with legs. up whenever I need them. Alright, take these edges, we'll just bring them in. That. Be thick, boy. Probably turn these on, huh? They've been looking at me this entire time. I hadn't, wasn't thinking about turning them on. All right, let's simplify that. Oh, didn't turn on that. And I think I just no. Thought I made some internal faces there. this out. I think this is going to come in like this. That's going to need to be uh, thin, to be sure. Let's take these. Turn on. What's it now? Paintbrush. Options. Mesh boundaries. That. Is that what I need? Or does it need to be off? I can't remember. Whatever it does, it's not doing what I need it to. Let's. Let me just use the smoothing tool in here. I think I did the trick. up a little bit. Bring this out just a little bit. That's where the arms are going to come out from. It really made it clear to how that's supposed to be hunched. It's 
Sorry if I'm not very talkative at the moment. And I'm very highly focused at the moment. I suppose you can blame that on my ADHD. Uh, it's more that uh, I'm. it's hard for me to find things that truly interest me and, you know, lack just instead of being lack of focus. So if I find something I tend to uh, pay attention to, it, it's I, uh, I over-tend, I suppose. So I will uh, do nothing but that. It's hard to, you know, be entertaining or... Uh, talk. I don't really have much to talk about anyway in terms of, you know, what I do or what I, what I think. Okay. Let's bring that out. Uh, so I think normal, maybe. Swap this to 3D cursor. Please work. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, duplicate this. have the legs. Not like that. So that, well, I guess it doesn't matter considering how we have it modeled at the moment with these two blocks. They're not gonna we really don't have to worry about deformation problems. So that's good. We kinda just look like little planes. So I think that's what we'll do. Maximum laziness. Let's just duplicate that. Nice. And that would be our. Ooh. That'd be where our, our his little legs go. Probably help if I gave him eyes. Kind of need to see. Oh dear. Uh.
that's triangulated that way. There we go. Oh. Let me try that again. Turn that on. Scale zero. Nice. I don't know if that would be. There we're gonna need to rework it a little bit. Okay, let's set this to global. Let's take a look at an actual image reference. I think I gave it too much of a chin. I think that might be part of the problem. There we go. Hey Vulcan, welcome. Take a, the arms are com complicated with this art, so I'm going to have to look elsewhere. Frog legs are very long. They can uh, stretch their muscles. So, uh, yeah. This is almost like a spore builder or you know some kind of creature creator. Arms are a little stubby. Maybe that could be shorter. Shorter. Okay. 
think what we'll do, these will share the same uh, texture. He thinks. Very lumpy on his back, huh? Let's uh, bring it in a little bit. I think it's pretty good. I suppose now we should unwrap it. Okay, go to UV editing. Oh, and this is, I forgot, this is the exact same uh, uh, blend file that I used to make the willow tree last, last stream. Right, let's take this whole throw, unwrap. And I think there are areas I don't want to unwrap. Probably this. Right. Yeah, this probably doesn't want to unwrap. It's going to be complicated a little bit. Largely still just a cube. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's still just a cube, really. Let's unpin that, and unpin that, there we go, box. And let's try to get these as cubic as possible. Okay, that's a pretty good base for that. So why don't we take all of these, just stretch them like that. Whoop, got to pin that. That's a good cube. Put that down. That down. go. Everything's pinned. Right, so for this character, let's material. Oh, this is oh. There we go. Go to the object. This will be a frog. Let's just use a diffuse. Very basic texture. Well, shader, not texture. And let's do uh, one of my UV coordinate nodes that I made. And let's figure out how we want this frog. So he's unwrapped. How is he looking over here? Okay, average island size pack. Sure that everything's good with that. Scale's good. There we go. Okay, 
the way that I want this done, uh, let's throw the pixel checker in here. This will give us an idea how big we want our textures. And let's set it to 128. I think it's pretty good. I think what I'll do is I'll largely have it be uh, I'll put patterns in a in a uh, in a, as the texture, and then I'll just sort of apply like lay the maps over the frogs patterns, and don't worry about the resolution so much. They should be about the same in um, proportion, but they don't necessarily need to be painted. These are all, these are the main problem that needs to be fixed. And that. These are all just cubes. Not, even, not really hard to fix, so we'll mark those seams. And I forgot to hold shift. So there we go. What if I missed one? Okay. I sent some emails to uh, some musicians. If they were, if I was allowed to use some of their music, I was uh, looking for uh, more metal music that I can play on stream. We'll see if uh, how well that plays out. That. Yep, we've got some stuff. I'm going to go around and squareify all of these. Where are you from, mister? It's just a stray square. Where are you? Oh, okay. Clear that. Ground size again, pack the islands. Let's give them some. There we go. Those, fl those flippers are getting spicy. There we go.
forgot my hotkeys for a second. I was like, what button does that? Oh. Yeah, well, a few of the reasons why that uh, I've, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about it at the moment. The reason why I don't particularly stream as much as I no probably should, you know, uh, at this point, you know, I've, I've kind of already uh, ran through all the motions of uh, what I could talk about, you know, over the past three streams that I've done this week. This would be the fourth, right? Yeah, I, I basically streamed. Uh, every day this week and I've kind of run through all the things I, I would talk about so at this point I'm kind of just sort of running through uh, doing what I'm doing without any kind of talking so I hope that doesn't really bother anyone it's not as if you, if they came here for you know entertainment I guess got kitties? I do I do they're not Yeah, yeah, I got, I got one of my cats is in here. They're, uh, they're in my, it's in my uh, hamper. All right, let's take this. Why don't, why don't we do this too? Let's check for stretching. I haven't done that in a while. Stretching. Yeah, turn that on. Uh, nothing too heinous, I suppose. One thing I could do. When I take all the interior, face it like that, unwrap, and let it do what it wants. There you go. That that can res that resolves some. Talk about your kitties. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I I wouldn't know what to say. I could start with uh, talking about how many I have. I have two of them. Uh, one of them is a gray tabby, and the other is a uh, a, a black cat. They, black cats don't really have breeds, do they? They're just, you know, they're black cats. Uh, the black cat is male. The tabby is a female. And um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about. I did get uh, some cold brew coffee uh, recently. We got um, something that was interesting about these. They're kind of just like uh, cold brew shots that uh, come in like a, a plastic cup, and um, you know they have a liquid inside of it, unlike a, a Keurig pod, uh, which I mentioned. But you can also put them in a Keurig pod, and that would um, uh, you you can brew them that way. Which, uh, I, I wouldn't put them in a Keurig pod simply because, uh, one, uh, they're made from iced coffee. You know, that's kind of an obvious, but number two, uh, why would you put them in a Keurig pod if they're already liquid? You should just, uh, you know, you should just, ah, just, uh, boil some water and just dump it in. It seems redundant. I'm here for learning a little more about proper workflow while listening to nice retro music. That's fair too. Uh, not everyone needs to be entertained, or necessarily not everyone is a here to be entertained or is looking to be entertained. I make tutorials, so being entertained is a uh, side effect. Is that a face? It's a face. There was a there was like a little face compacted in here. That's vexing. Let's lock this. Rotate it 90 degrees. Uh okay, none of that's stretched heinously. I think one thing we could also do. Select all of the oh. select all of the faces on the inside of these rectangular areas. Uh, Alt P, unwrap, and now and then they will just sort of do what they wish. 
uh, they'll help alleviate construction. Okay, average size pack. Shit. <laughs> I did the thing they set up doing. Oh, I No, snap pickles. Turn that off. I, I think I, I think I failed at doing so. I did. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Let's new image. Uh, I think we'll set this to 1080. Take all of these, snap to pixels, and then unwrap. Let's add. Some, let's have the flippers be a bit more flippers. The the hands be a bit more detailed, considering that they're simply image planes. But even even so, they can be, uh, you know, if seen from like this far away, just for you know uh, scaling's sake. This would be the size of the character. Uh, the frog needs to be a shitload smaller. I'm guess about that big. So if we do that, oh, maybe a bit bigger. There we go. That's pretty good. Might be able to get away with a 16, well, uh, 18, uh, 64 by 64 resolution. I, I always struggle with writing that in my uh, tutorial video. It's like, ah, it's the res. It's a, it either sounds redundant or it just sounds uh, silly in writing. I don't know. Thanks for the host, Zumbizzle. I didn't even, I, I, the the alert box didn't uh, notify me properly. Okay, let's do okay. shading. There we go. So this is what it looks like after all that UV mapping. I think that's pretty good. Let's shade smooth. Uh, let's use whoop, this texture coordinate. Make sure that it's in the right spot. Uh, this will use this. I believe that's what we're using. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't name it. T X. So that's the first order of business. Why don't we I'll unplug this for a minute? We don't need it. Vertex colors. Universal color. Don't need a UV map to get these done. So what we'll do, vertex colors. Let's just sample portions. Let's see here. I can't see the texture paint kind of stuff. There it is. All right, let's just sample some color. Let's just grab that. Nice. him. Honestly, that could really just be about it. I don't know how detailed would necessarily need to be, but I could go a little bit more. Now, 
The way that I've done this, I think we might, I might change up how I uh, use my, my, the texture. Instead of using the texture to color, I'm gonna use the texture to add detail. So let's add, that, whoop, not that. RGB mix. Okay, set this to multiply. Plug that in there. Take this and plug that in there. Uh, image editor. Rogue. And then we'll take this. This is white, right? Yeah, that's good. Some streaks of brown and some pickles. I turned my frog into a pickle. Oh. Dumb joke. Thank you, Sunken Chair. You made a mistake following me exactly after making that joke. <laughs> after I made that joke. You have encouraged this. Oh, I just got a message on my phone. Nothing important. Okay. All right. Oh, we need to have these. Oh, shit. First off, set that to closest. I'll just make the, the quick setup. Unless I have a group. Like, do I have a diffuse text? No. Could you use this? Yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll, I'll just suck it up and make my, make the, make the texture. Okay. Mix shader. Slap that in here. Put that on the bottom. We're gonna plug. We're gonna feed it the alpha. Uh, we need a transparent. Go that in here. I think that that works right. And then we will tell it to alpha clip. There it is. And that's how it's done. Ah, pools. Okay, got it. I had to. It, I struggled a second to get it to compact properly, but I, I did it. Okay. So if I select this face and shift F7. Yeah, that, that gives us the exact orientation that we would need to paint on it. some galaxy brain stuff here real quick okay so let's take these two faces 
subdivide them like this. UV editor. Snap them over like this. Bam. Magic. Yeah, at some point or another, we're going to bake this, so... Do I want the feet? I'll do. Okay. Along the normal, what way would that be? Uh, go on individual origins. Set that there, we'll just do it by this number. Uh, scale 1.5. Not good, maybe. Using vertex paint, let's get a more brown color like that. Get all that. Vertex color. Pretty good. Let's not get ahead of ourselves with this. We need to save this. Uh, frog? Uh, T-E-X frog. That's where we'll need it. Let's make sure that we also save this as frog. Saving playthrough and stuff. Otherwise it'll be awkward if it crashes and we lose everything. It would indeed be awkward. So, let's take another look at some frogs. Green frog. Yeah, we're gonna need to make their underbelly a lighter color. Let's take this color, brighter, less saturated. Nice. All right, let's take this color, no saturation, set it to multiply, and we'll do it now. Oh, 
cost too much. Uh, right, this needs to be white. Oh, that's not white. Push it back a bit, then we'll use the smear brush. add some noise to him just a little bit okay bring this up tool uh, texture How about instead of using that as a texture, let's use it as a mask. That'll probably be more helpful. is what that is. Uh, we'll make a new one. Default brush. And then we'll just remove this. Gun and crashed it. It's going up. There it went. Nice. 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 Right. Let's have to get to break this thing back out. Thunder crash number one. All right. I would at least like to recover that color that I've made. Save broad. Oh, oh, is that when it saved it? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why the autosave is um, spooky like that. That's cool. Uh, blah, blah. UV edit. Right. Love that. Up. We didn't lose much. Not a problem. That's why we use vertex colors for blockage. Yeah, I made a warning about it in my upcoming uh, vertex painting video. Not for texture painting video. I made very sure to warn uh, people that it crashes a fuckload. Save. Save. 
Don't save that. What the fuck? Save that, I guess. Is that all I did? I don't know if that's all I did with the. T oh, right, the face. Ah, fuck the. <laughs> Shit. Looks like I gotta do that again. I don't know why the autosave failed me. Vexing. Texture paints. So. Can I ah, fuck. Well, that color's gone. Right, swap here. Multiply. Frog. Oh no. All right. Save. Save. That seems to, this seems to be the ticket to get these brown streaks down the back that I'm wanting. Maybe I can make them even a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Nice. Okay. Let's make a texture now. Texture mask, we'll make a new one. Properties, texture. Let's go with uh, clouds. I should probably set this to be the brush mask. That, that's where that is now. Okay, this should be texture point zero one. Uh, thank you. Nice. That's the good stuff. Texture paint. How will this fare on this? There we go. Hello, Hobanoa. some noise to this. Why don't we make it more of this color, make it darker. There we go. I think it's pretty 
good. And low, huh? Uh, maybe we should, maybe the uh, blunders crashes thing should go somewhere else. Where's the alert box? Save that. Go to the image editor. Save that. I think the feet need to be longer. Nah. Nah. Fine. Right, so we got all this. Camera being off kilter has been bothering me. That saved, that saved, everything's saved, but good. Now what we need to do, we need to bring these all together. Let's go to this one, because it's a completely empty texture. And we'll, let's bake, let's bake our shit. So we'll swap to cycles. Uh, we'll go down here to baking. Uh, we want a diffuse. We don't want to involve indirect or direct lighting. Uh, this selected. Yeah, that's selected. The UV map selected. I think that's ready to go. All right. Let's give it a shot. It went to the next playlist and it started somewhere in the middle of it. Right. Baking. We're going to bake. Let's go. So this will be whoop, here. Let's set the margin to be two pixels. That should be good. Nice. And what's that? Uh, we do that in a thing. Uh, this will be. That's what that is. Eh, let's make it green too. Why not? There we go. Now we know what that is. We'll unplug that and that. And those can stay there. Uh, plug the color there. Plug the alpha there. It's frog. Now let me guess. Ah. Figured. It didn't trans. It didn't translate the alpha. Okay, so this is the cloud brush because it has the cloud texture on it. All right, swap to this texture mask. Turn it off. I wish there was easier ways to swap between textures. Okay. Here we go.
there's some crust going on in here with that. Uh, might be easier to do it in this mode because you can readily see. Good. Save this. Okay. We got the frog. I think this is nice and good. So, save. Now, now the time's come to do some rigging. Why don't we, actually? Now that's more or less on the ground. Right. <laughs> it's very wide. Make it less wide. Here's how we're gonna make the rig, so. I'm gonna go about using Rigify, because it's very convenient for me. So we're gonna go basic quadruped. And I'm gonna delete. Considering how simple this fella is, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's go raw. Okay. Curse of the world origin. There we go. I don't even know why I did that. With that, did I change the orientation of that in any way? No, I changed that. Okay. Okay. Small frog. Okay. Duplicate this. In front. I don't know if you follow any naming conventions, but when you're working on stuff, I'm curious, do you name all of your assets uh, with the thing, they're for, for, they're for first, or types, or, or the type of asset. Right now I'm, uh, name... I'm pretty lazy when it comes to naming conventions, really. It could probably be a hell of a lot better. For instance, if we go to the frog, his, uh, mesh name is cube.001. So, I should probably go about actually doing something like that. Frog. Uh, I'm lazy when it comes to naming conventions. Look, my room is a fucking mess, right? So, you shouldn't be surprised. I am not an organizer. 
Yeah, why not? We'll make him a little bendy. Uh, take this. We'll parent that. Uh, this is the root bone. It should not deform anything. Alright. Let's add a bone here. That's probably good. All right, let's get some naming done and, and parenting. Things need to be parented. Uh, let's take these, parent them to this. So this is the head. Shouldn't affect the, the body. Okay. Thigh dot L. Cap dot L. Put uh, zero one dot L. And let's see if it does. Nope, it did not. Shoulder dot L, forearm dot L. Wait, no, is that the forearm? No, that would be bicep or something along those lines. Forearm dot L. Uh, there we go. All right, now we gotta take these and symmetrize them. That's pretty good. So we have the, this should be the, a good base to form thing. So let's do automatic weights. This should probably work pretty good. <laughs> oh, there's shenanigans afoot that can be readily be readily made with these. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the 
armature and whatnot. So this part of the, bo the body and the eyes, they should not be readily affected by anything from the leg or the arms. Well, especially, definitely the legs. Definitely the legs. Uh, so, bone, bone one and two? No, no, hold on. Oh, that must be the spine. Yeah, that, 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 that would make sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is bone one. I'm a, it, it hid my, hid the panels from me. Uh, yeah. Spine, and then this will be head. And then I assume that should change the name of the groups here. Yes. So this should not be influenced by the... part of the body, but it shouldn't affect the head. So, spine, neck, and shoulder. Okay. And be sure to do this with the other part. Rogue friend, it him. <laughs> uh. Nice. Now we need to add IK bones to this. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm a bit sketchy on how I do those again because it's been a while. Okay, so this the hand. Go here, add constraint. Okay. Probably should have not worried about doing, I probably shouldn't have worried about doing the weights properly first until after I got the actual thing working properly. Uh, relationship tracking, wait, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 wait, yeah, I do it here. Transform, I, okay, where is it? Inverse kinematic, nice. So let's duplicate this, make it bigger, uh, move, parent, parent, and where would I put the, I'm not sure where I would put the, the pole, okay, uh, IK, target, no, L, IK, and target.l. Nice. Okay. So we have the hand. And for this, we'll make the target the IK. Or IK target. There. Why, why no work? Target the rig first, and then I can target the IK. Please. There we go. Okay, so as it is right now. Or, okay, uh, that's weird. Right. 
fire. Okay. Oh, when I copied it, it must have... I duplicated that bone, so it must have copied the constraints, so... Use. There we go. Okay, so we only want this to go so far. Uh, we want a specific chain length. One, two, three. Yeah, about there. working. Uh, okay, I also need this to copy. Nope. I need this to copy the rotation of the hand. Mm. This the, uh, this fella should not be influenced by the Hands. The hands should be their own thing. Well, that's interesting. Based on the way that it's weighted, uh, its hands actually bend a little. Like they curl up. Like Interesting. That's unintentional, but it's cool. Right. So, what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna take all of these bones here, we're gonna delete them, and hopefully, when I symmetrize all of these, symmetrize. Is that still. dance. Uh, nice. Okay, let's make a new layer. Oh, well. Okay, let's make a target bone. Yeah, move this to that layer and that to that layer. Necessarily need bubbles. I guess we'll s end up having C. Okay, now to do the same thing with the foot. Okay, this is foot dot L, foot dot zero, foot zero two dot L. Uh, I K. parented to anything, disconnect the phone, clear any parenting, uh, why don't we copy, uh, let's copy this constraint, we'll copy the, actually we'll copy both of those, and we'll just change it up. Uh, IK target Oh no. Wow, that was dumb. Alright, control C, selected constraints, copy, IK, and rotation. There we go. Let's make sure we actually select the right bone that we're gonna manipulate, because I changed the foot. Okay, shut that to the foot target. 
set the copy rotation to the foot target. Okay, now we have this. Yeah, based on this, I don't think I even really need to worry about uh, poles. I don't know. I think it'll be fine. I'm going to say that I'm going to regret it later. I almost guarantee it. Okay, hide that. So that is the... Yep. Move that to this layer. Move that to this layer. Alright. Hide it. This layer and move the root to the layer right below it. Is it possible to change the seed of a basic generated cloud texture? Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know. You can change the method that it uses. Yeah, you can change the algorithm. Oh, look at that, you can make cracks. Cell noise. There, there are things to play with. Okay, there's the spine. Here's the root. All right, let's add some bone groups so we can get some color. Algorithm is the closest to what I needed. Yep, I don't know what else to do for that. Okay. Uh, this is the root bone. Uh, let's assign purple. Nice. Uh, let's make. Okay. Uh, make that yellow, I guess. Up, oh, nope. <laughs> uh, make new. We'll call this one spine. We'll make it blue. And then. chains I guess no not to no not to manipulate them uh, we'll make them green I guess so let's just get all these together actually I'm gonna do it one at a time fine sign okay these are the IK chains not gonna manipulate those at all and then the IK. Nice. Really, these are all that we need. All right, let's make some... Yeah. Let's make some custom bone shapes so that way we're not just using uh, the, the default. mode let's go let's make a circle this will be the root set this to eight extrude Widgets. Uh, 
All right, we'll move you into custom. <laughs> no, please let me spell it right. Custom bones. Right. Uh, let's go to bone. Move pose mode. Rigify bendy uh, relations. No. Inverse. No. Deform viewport display. Custom bone. W, nope, W, G, T, root, nice. custom bones, we'll just uh, turn it off then. Object uh, WGT IK handle. It's rotated. off. Take on edit mode. Oopsies. WGT IK handle. Hmm. It seems that twisting that in that mode is causing a problem. I'm too lazy to really correct it. <laughs> Assuming zero, zero is where. Okay, so this is at one. Good. Uh, scale on. Uh, divide by half. Oopsies. Scale half. Nice. That's pretty good. And then we'll do that for all of the. Bones, WGT. Uh. 
then to do spines, let's do something basic. Okay, a plane. Uh, I think I, I bungled something. All right, gotta get going along. All right, see you, Hobanoa. to zero. Extrude that to Y1. Uh, there we go. So it's at this point that we want to add a circle. I mean, I guess we'll add one here first as well. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, we wanted it here anyway. I'm dumb. Uh, point zero to point, point zero five. All right. Duplicate that, rotate that on the z-axis, 90 degrees. Duplicate that, rotate that on the z-axis, 90 degrees. Actual z-axis. Merge by distance. Did it automatically do that? It did. Nice. Uh, WGT. Uh, this will be FK. If you were using swappers or anything like that to do anything special. Uh, WGT. Uh, FK. Nice. Hardware, hardware store music. Nice. Uh, move that to the custom bones collection as well. As, okay, that's already there. IK handle, move that to custom bones selection and then we'll just remove them forever. I will. All right, I think we're good now. Now we just gotta pose them properly. All right, let's use uh, pose mode, turn on Z mirroring. I need to get out of normals mode, what the hell? Need to get out of this mode too. Uh, snap to face. Good. Okay, so we're going to go uh, pose library. Uh, we're gonna make a new pose. This is the add new. This will be the rest pose.
considering how small he'll be on the screen. I don't know how worried about it I need to be. Let's bring back the banana for scale. How big he be. Pretty sure that's how big he is. That seems partially wrong, too. Probably the width that's throwing me off. <laughs> White stands. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have made him like, well, I still can. There you go. Vertices. That, I believe. Considering that, let's maybe. That looks better. They don't break out, break off from the actual character now. Kelter because I drove the torso over. Let's the IK chain by one. Yeah, I feel that's good.
everything. Let's bring the modifier to edit mode back. I think I'll turn my music down slightly. Just about 5%. I think that'll be fine. All right, let's... Okay, that's... This is the thigh, indeed. We'll sign it 100%. We'll remove from the calf. There we go. So this here is the calf, 100% the calf. We will remove it from the thigh, and we'll remove it from the foot. Uh, that's probably good. Frankly, I probably didn't need to make the foot its own block, but it definitely made texturing a lot easier. So I think that's pretty good. Actually, just go back, just go back and apply that. There we go. See how we would look in render. Oh god, I'm still in cycles mode. Please. Uh okay, textures. That's three. I think it's time we add a camera. Like that. Let's get maybe a wider angle lens, 18. Good frog. Go add a empty like this. Take the camera, we'll set it to be a child of the empty. I think this is empty zero point two. And now if we animate it. Uh, T40, rotate Z, uh, negative 360, whoop, negative 360 degrees, key that, make it linear, rogue. coordinate, pop this in there. Let's set, get, set the scale to 50 or something like that. Keep going then, huh? Uh, yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Then we can uh, render him out, I guess. Okay, that's a bit of a bother. I'm currently on the sequencer layer and not on the image layer. Okay. 
Yep, here's the willow tree that I made earlier. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Right. Go here. I'll just make an entirely new scene. Back to the sequencer. Take all these. We'll just copy them. And then paste them in here. Where'd you come from? <laughs> that. Alright, get the skybox in here. second. There's extra stuff here. What is this? That's a turntable. Okay, I think I got everything that's unnecessary here. some confirmation with my friends on uh, what they need it to be animated for or animated as but other than that I think this is a pretty good frog